Vote tonight and the real vote tomorrow. One of the most closely watched races in New York is for the newly created 46th state Senate seat. Republican George Amador running against Democrat Cecilia Ketchik. Matt Markham tracked down both candidates to ask them one last time why they deserve your vote. You've seen the signs along the road. Many are close together in a race that could end even closer in a photo finish. According to a Siena poll released Friday, Republican George Amador leads Democrat Cecilia Ketchik by 3% in the 46th district. The margin of error, 4.6%. Siena pollster Steve Greenberg tells me. Whichever campaign does the better job of getting their voters to the polls is likely to be the cam campaign that succeeds. It's a large district stretching from Montgomery to Ulster counties. Both candidates are busy on the road and at their campaign headquarters on the last day before the election. They agree on most of the big issues. The heavy burden crushing taxes, uh, the lack of jobs, uh, the poor economy. Uh, cost of living continues to increase. We need to help kickstart the upstate economy. We need to provide uh, fair funding for our rural and small city schools. We need to protect our environment. Big statewide topics. A snapshot of them. This may be a referendum on those issues alone, given the closeness in the 46th. This is a pocketbook election. Uh, it's about jobs. It's about the economy. It's about taxes. Uh, it's about the state budget. The underdog first on her three-point follow. Do you take that as a positive sign? Yes, I think it's clearly a close race. And given that this was a district drawn for George Amador, this is something that wasn't expected. Amador's take. The tightness of the race underscores one thing, hard work and continuing to go out there and, and hear the people, meet the people. Both candidates will hear from them, especially the 3% at the polls. Matt Markham, CBS 6 News.